Hello, all you wonderful people. I'm going to give you some tips to help you have a stress-free holiday season. You know, Thanksgiving is a week from tomorrow. I can't believe it. And you know the mad dash to December 24th is going to begin. So this year, let's try to guard our sanity. Let's try not to go too crazy. So I'm going to give you some tips that I came up with over the years. After going crazy for so many years, I had had enough and kind of pared down my Christmas. And I'll show you, I'll tell you how. I mean, it, I shouldn't say I, I, I pared down my Christmas. It's, it's more quality. You know, I got rid of all the stuff that didn't matter. My name is Chrissy Blevio, and I'm the mother of two wonderful adult children. And I'm also a confessed Christmas fanatic. That's actually my birthday. So I'll tell you, my name was supposed to be Pollyanna. Imagine living with that. But thankfully, I was born on Christmas Day, so my mother had an out. It was my father who wanted Pollyanna. My mother said, we have to name her Christine for Christmas. But I do go by Chrissy. Anyway, I'm a Christmas fanatic. I've always have been, and I drove myself crazy for years trying to make the perfect Christmas for my children. And as they got older and I got busier, I just could not do everything I wanted to do. So I came up with some ideas that helped me get through the holidays, have a beautiful Christmas, and not go crazy. So here they are. First of all, do a total brain dump. Sit down with a pen and paper and make a list of everything you think you need to do to make this holiday season the most wonderful holiday season for you and your family. Write it all down. Now, put an asterisk next to everything that you know is absolutely essential. You know, like if you celebrate Christmas, the Christmas tree would be an essential, you know, item. Put an asterisk next to everything that you think is essential. Now, talk to your family. I, I sat my kids down and I said, you know, when you think of Christmas, tell me the three things that you remember the most, that you are looking forward to most, that really makes Christmas Christmas for you. And I was a little surprised by some of their answers because I realized there were some things I was doing that I don't even think they noticed, to be quite honest. Or maybe it just wasn't that important to them. So that was really opened my eyes. I knew what made Christmas special for my kids, so I knew where my priorities were. I also did this at Thanksgiving. I asked my kids, what's your favorite side? Other than the turkey and the cranberry sauce and rolls, what do you want to see on your plate? What's that thing you look forward to on Thanksgiving dinner? And you know what? Our last Thanksgiving dinner, that's what we had. We had everybody's favorites and nothing else. And it was delicious and everybody was happy. I didn't go crazy making three or four extra sides and then sticking them in the fridge only to throw out a week later. So, you know, those are the kind of ideas I came up with. I also did the same thing with my baking. I love to bake at Christmas. It's not Christmas unless I'm baking Christmas cookies or Christmas pound cakes. So I asked the kids, what are, you know, what's that thing at Christmas that mommy makes that you absolutely love? and you can't wait to have it at Christmas. You remember eating it, you, you, you know, you're looking forward to having it. What is that thing that you can't wait to have? And I used their answers to, you know, just to make my list smaller of what I was gonna bake. I just cut my list down, and I actually enjoyed the baking more because I wasn't under the gun to make these, so many dozen of this and so many dozen of that, and let's face it, you end up eating stuff you make anyway. So just along those ideas, ask your family what you know, give to ask them to give you like the top three things that make Christmas, the top three things, kind of food they're looking for. Use that idea to, to help you make your priorities. I also did the same thing with gifts. Make your gift list, put an asterisk next to the three most important things on your gift list. So that also helps out because you can let the other things go if you don't get to it. Number two, that's actually one tip I just gave you. <laughs> Number two, <clears throat> Get your calendar out and schedule some time for yourself right now. Schedule a massage. Schedule a day at the salon. A, a night out with the girls. Schedule your bubble bath with a good Christmas book. Whatever it is that helps you de-stress, helps you relax, gives yourself a little breather, <clears throat> schedule that now. Schedule how many, however many you think you need. Maybe once a week you need a, an afternoon to yourself. Whatever it is. Schedule it in now, call the salon now, call the masseuse now, whatever you have to do to arrange it, do it now. 
enlist the help of your family. Now, you know, you're gonna have to be a little creative. Everyone's family's different. Your kids might be different ages. You have a teenager that's um, savvy with the computer. They're all savvy, right? When you get everyone's Christmas list and you get their priority gifts that they're asking for, ask the older kid to get online and find those items. See if you can find them at a good deal. Order them online. Do it as soon as possible. Have them make their list this, holiday, this uh, Thanksgiving weekend and get online and order those priority gifts. Have them deliver it. You're, you're, you're done with the most of your shopping right there. Have that, have that older kid do that for you. Also, put them in charge of wrapping them when they show up. They'll be happy to be included and have that responsibility. It's fun for them. Makes things easy for you. So depending on what, how old your kids are, you might, you might want to have one sibling wrap the presents for the other sibling and vice versa. Whatever you can give them to do, give it to them. Don't forget your husband too. Put him to work. So to recap, you want to, you want to, <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to make a list and prior, or prioritize your list in enlisting the help of your family. Find out what their Christmas priorities are, what makes Christmas for them. Schedule your me time now. Enlist the help of your family. Give them jobs to do. The other great thing about doing most of your shopping online is when you finally do make it to the mall, you're not running from one department store to the other looking for that priority gift. You've got it already wrapped. It's done. You can enjoy yourself at the mall. Enjoy all the Christmas decorations and the music and the atmosphere and not go nuts. If you found these tips helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would go in the comments section and tag, uh, make a comment, let me know if it was helpful to you. But if you have a friend who you think would benefit or, or you know, would benefit from these tips, please tag your friend in the comments of this post. And if you have great tips, Christmas tips for, you know, shortcuts, hacks, you know, anything to make Christmas easier, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear what you're doing to make your holiday less stressful. The last thing I would say to you is remember what the holiday season is really truly about. Focus on that and the comfort and joy that that brings you. I wish you all a wonderful holiday season. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.